we are going to create a birthday card using Microsoft Publisher. To start with, go down to your Start button, and we're going to open up Microsoft Office Publisher. So go to All Programs, then find Microsoft Office, click on Microsoft Office, and then we have to go down and we have to find Publisher. So it's Microsoft Office Publisher. Click on it to open it up. Then we are going to select one of the pre-made birthday cards. So we need to find the category. It's in a template. This screen is called the template screen. We need to find the category greeting cards. And we click on greeting cards. And then when it opens up, you can see that it starts off with various different kinds of cards. So my screen starts off with thank you cards. If your screen starts off with something else, all you need to do is you have to find the section birthday cards. So we're going to use the scroll down button. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to keep looking because there's lots of choices. There's a moving card, there's an engagement, birthday announcements, reminder cards, holiday cards, and there we've got birthday cards. Now you get to pick whichever birthday card that you would like to create. For now I'm going to pick the birthday card that has the cake and the candles on it. So you click on the birthday card, double click on the birthday card to open it up, and this is much like Word. At the top it has File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, Table, Arrange, Window, Help. And then it has the ribbons, very similar to what was in our Word document. Now if we're going to create this card at the bottom, we need to have four pages in the card that we create. If your card is only two pages, you need to go back and choose a different card. So you, if you need to go back, you would go File, and you would go Close, and that brings you back to your template page. So again, we double click on the greeting card and we're going to go back down till we find birthday cards and double click into the card that you want to choose. So I have four pages at the bottom and right now I'm on page one and it says happy birthday. Well. I think I want to move that happy birthday down a little bit to personalize it. So you have to just drag the box. Remember, click on the box that you want to move and when you have the moving plus sign with the arrow tips on each of the points, that's a moving plus sign. So I had to move two pieces to get it to show up and I'm going to click on happy birthday and I'm going to add in my son's name, Thomas. Whoops. And when you want to click off of that, you just can click anywhere on your page. Now we're going to go to page two. And on page two, this would be page two, this would be page three, and the back would be page four. So on page two, I would like you to insert a clip art. So go up to insert, and you would go, go down to picture, and choose clip art, or you can insert clip art another way. 
down the left hand side there's some of the formatting tools that you can do and we can click on the picture frame and that will bring up clip art and we can go from there I'm going to have it search for ice cream. Click on go. And I'm going to bring in a clip art of ice cream. Position it on the page. You can X out of the picture. Now my words say older, yes, but also wiser and more wonderful. Happy birthday. So I need to say, I need to address it to who the card is to. So to Thomas Love. mom and I, if I want to just check it I can click off and that's what my third page looks like now I'm going to click on page four and this one shows my words on an angle they're vertical and if you want to leave it that way you can and it says made especially for you by and my machine automatically puts my name in there my first name Teresa and your machine puts in Marshall Public Schools or something similar to Marshall Public Schools because it's the school computer so what you need to do is you need to put your name so you have to highlight Marshall Public Schools you have to highlight it and then you have to type in your name so if you highlight it you can type over top of it or you can push delete and start typing so I'm going to put Mrs. McCoy and then since I have a big open spot and I'm thinking of my design principles where I don't want to have a lot of open white space. I'm going to add in another picture, a clip art, and I'm going to add in a dog this time. And there I've got a picture, a fun picture. And I have to make sure that I size it down so that it fits on my page. Can X out of that box. And when I look at it, I can see that my picture is kind of in the middle. Kind of looks good with, with the amount of space on the top and the bottom. So now I'm going to double check what my whole card looks like. I'm going to click on page one. And it says, Happy Birthday, Thomas. Page two, I put a clip art on page two. I have who my card is going to, going to Thomas, and it's love mom. And then on page four, I've changed who the card was made by. It's made by Mrs. McCoy. I should put mom, but that's okay. And I added a clip art on my last page. That is how you make a birthday card using Microsoft Publisher. Now if you have enough time you can make another greeting card of your choice. That's the end.